Did you know that Kamehameha II, a king of Hawaii, abolished an ancient system of laws, revolutionizing Hawaiian society in the process? Born as Liholiho, his journey from prince to king is a tale of destiny, power, and transformation. From his ascension to the throne to his audacious decision to end the kapu system, Kamehameha II's reign was truly a turning point in Hawaiian history. Join us as we journey through Kamehameha II's life, reign, and the monumental changes he brought about. Born in 1797, Kamehameha II, also known as Liholiho, was groomed for leadership from a young age. As the son of Kamehameha the Great, the founder and first ruler of the Kingdom of Hawaii, the expectations were indeed high. His upbringing was steeped in the rich tapestry of Hawaiian culture, yet it was also colored by the looming shadow of his father's formidable legacy. Influential figures, including his father and trusted advisors, played significant roles in shaping his worldview. They instilled in him the importance of strong leadership and the delicate art of balancing tradition with the inevitable tide of change. As he grew, so did his understanding of the weight of the crown he was destined to wear. Upon his father's death in 1819, the young prince was thrust into the limelight as Hawaii's new king, ready or not. Kamehameha II ascended to the throne amidst high expectations and immediate challenges. As the son of Kamehameha the Great, his reign was eagerly anticipated by those who remembered the glory of his father's rule. Yet, transitioning into the role of king was no easy task. The young ruler faced the daunting task of governing a kingdom still mourning the loss of its beloved king, his father. Moreover, Kamehameha II inherited a kingdom on the cusp of profound change. The increasing presence of foreign powers and missionaries brought new ideas and pressures that would test his leadership skills. The young king was tasked with navigating these forces while maintaining the sovereignty and cultural integrity of his kingdom. But one of the biggest challenges he faced was the ancient kapu system that governed Hawaiian life. This religious and social code of conduct had been the bedrock of Hawaiian society for centuries. Yet it was a system that was soon to be questioned under his reign. The Kapu system, a collection of sacred laws, had a firm grip on Hawaiian society. This intricate network of taboos governed every aspect of life, from the sacred to the mundane. It was an ancient system, deeply embedded in Hawaiian culture, dictating what to eat, where to go, even determining who you could interact with. The Kapu system wasn't just a set of rules, it was a way of life. It shaped societal hierarchies creating distinct boundaries between the common people and the ruling chiefs. It's impossible to overstate its significance. It was the backbone of Hawaiian society. But it was also a system that could be unforgiving, with harsh penalties for those who dared to break the kapu. To defy it was to risk divine wrath, and it kept the Hawaiian society in check. But Kamehameha II was about to shake the very foundations of this system. In a bold move, Kamehameha II decided to abolish the kapu system, a decision that would forever change the course of Hawaiian history. The seeds for this monumental change were sown soon after the death of his father, Kamehameha the Great. The young king, under the influence of the powerful queen Ka'ahumanu, began to question the rigid kapu system, which had governed Hawaiian religious and social life for centuries. The symbolic moment of change came when Kamehameha II sat down to share a meal with women, a clear violation of one of the most sacred kapus. This act sent shockwaves through the society and marked the beginning of the end for the kapu system. It was a daring move, one that directly challenged the established order and power dynamics. But this dramatic shift was not without its consequences. The immediate aftermath of the Kapu system's abolition was a period of religious and social uncertainty. The old ways were gone, but what would replace them was not yet clear. It was a time of profound change, uncertainty, and even chaos. However, these challenges also created opportunities. With the old Kapu system dismantled, the door was now open for new ideas, beliefs, and social structures to take root. This decision led to a period of religious and social uncertainty, but it also opened the door for significant change. Kamehameha II's reign was not without its difficulties. As the young ruler took on the mantle of leadership, he was faced with a myriad of internal and external pressures that tested the strength of his rule. Internally, the rapid cultural shifts triggered by the abolition of the kapu system led to a period of religious and societal uncertainty. The common people and chiefs alike were thrust into a new era, 
where old rules no longer applied and new ones were yet to be established. Externally, the increasing contact with foreign powers brought its own set of challenges. The European missionaries and traders who arrived on Hawaiian shores were not merely passive observers. They exerted pressure on the kingdom, pushing for change that aligned with their own cultural norms and economic interests. Despite these challenges, Kamehameha II was determined to modernize Hawaii. As foreign contact increased, Kamehameha II had to balance traditional values with modern influences. The young king found himself at the helm of a culture undergoing transformative shifts. He navigated these changes with a keen sense of diplomacy, understanding the need for Hawaii to adapt, yet remain rooted in its unique heritage. His reign marked a period of significant modernization, with the introduction of Western technology and institutions, yet he was mindful of preserving the essence of Hawaiian culture. He encouraged the retention of native language, arts and crafts, even as he welcomed new ideas and practices. Kamehameha II's leadership during these cultural shifts was pivotal. It set a precedent for the delicate balance between preservation and progress that defines Hawaii to this day. His reign, however, was cut short by an unfortunate turn of events. In 1824, Kamehameha II embarked on a trip to England that would prove fatal. The young king, eager to strengthen ties with the British crown, set sail across the Pacific with his queen, Kamamalu. However, their arrival was met with a cruel twist of fate. Unfamiliar with the diseases of the European continent, they were both struck down by measles, a disease then unknown to the Hawaiian people. Kamehameha II, a king who had ushered in an era of change, was suddenly no more. His passing was not just a personal loss but a jolt to the kingdom he left behind. It sparked a succession crisis that would unsettle the Hawaiian kingdom for years. The end of his reign marked the end of an era, an era of significant transformation and tumultuous change. His death left a significant impact on the kingdom, and his legacy continues to resonate today. Kamehameha II's decisions, especially the abolishment of the kapu system, have shaped modern Hawaii in ways that resonate to this day. His reign, marked by monumental changes, left an indelible imprint on the cultural and social fabric of the islands. He opened the doors to a new era, providing a path for Hawaii to navigate the complexities of the modern world, while still holding on to the threads of its rich past. His influence is seen in the unique blend of traditional Hawaiian values and the influences of the wider world that define Hawaii today. His legacy isn't just about the changes he brought, but how he managed them. He stood at the crossroads of tradition and change, making decisions that would forever alter the course of his kingdom. His life reminds us of the courage it takes to challenge long-held beliefs in the pursuit of progress. His legacy is a testament to the complexities of leadership and cultural change. Kamehameha II's life and reign were marked by significant historical events that shaped Hawaii in profound ways. His ascension to the throne, the courageous decision to abolish the kapu system, and his untimely death in a distant land are all part of a narrative that continues to echo through the centuries. These moments, woven together, form the legacy of a king who stepped forward in a time of change. As we reflect on his life, we're reminded of the complexities of leadership and the weight of pivotal decisions. Kamehameha II navigated a delicate balance between tradition and change, a challenge that resonates with leaders across time and place. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Kamehameha II's life and reign, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more insightful content on historical figures and events. For those eager to learn more, we recommend further reading or documentaries on Kamehameha II and the transformative era he lived in. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Kamehameha II's life and legacy. This video was made possible with the help of numerous sources, including historical texts that provided insights into Kamehameha II's reign, expert interviews that offered a deeper understanding of the era, and cultural consultants who ensured the accuracy of our portrayal of Hawaiian traditions. If you're eager to delve deeper into this fascinating period of Hawaiian history, we've provided links to related content and educational resources. Stay curious, and keep exploring the richness of history.